Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Today, it's all about whirls and swirls and twirls of tornado color. We're going to make our own homemade filigrana out of a Fetre light blue. Creation is messy, leaky pen. So, let's get started. Our colors for today are Creation is Messy Leaky Pen. It's a, oh gosh, it's a beautiful, transparent, kind of tealish blue color. I can't really describe it. Partly teal with a lot of blue in it. And it's just, it's just gorgeous, especially when you put it over this Affetre Light Sky Blue. So that's what we're going to do. And then I'm going to also use a lot of Affetre Super Clear. And those are our colors for today. So this is the kind of color we're going for today. Maybe a light would help. Maybe not. Maybe. But look at that leaky pen. It does look like the color of a pen, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, this is the type of cane that we are going to make today. Um, I just kind of consider it in case cane. But someone um, on Lampwork etc. said, oh, filigrana. And I was like, okay, sure, we can do that. So let's get started. <laughs> All right, fire up the torture here. Oh, I have no propane. Hang on, I'll be back. And we're off. Okay, this is going to be kind of a fat cane. So I got out my 1 8 inch mandrel here. And I am going to go ahead and put down my, my guts, my internal color, which is that Affetre Sky Blue. And the first wrap goes around the mandrel. And then all of the wraps afterwards go beside the wrap on the left. And the cool thing about glass is it does it, it sticks. So I'm using kind of a small flame here. And I am going to also make sure that I got glass in the center. Nothing like pulling a cane and finding out you have, <laughs> you have glass, you have a hollow center. <laughs> that usually doesn't happen, but I pay attention to it anyways. Okay, here we go. Make sure I'm in focus here. Focus my nemesis cameras. And I'm going to make this one a little bit long because this is going to be a very um, a thick cane, but it's also going to be a very short cane because I want it to stay thick. So we're not going to pull it really skinny. I'm going to put a second layer on the first. Round and around and around and around and around we go. It's kind of floppy right now, but that's okay because I'm going to marver it. And when I'm making canes like this, I do like to marver in between each layer of color because I just want to get the air bubbles out. And so sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. <clears throat> okay. So... There is our blue. Now let's get our ow. let's get our leaky pen here. Oh, I just love this color from Creation is Messy. I gotta get some more of it though. I'm using it up a lot. Okay, just coils around the world, making sure that the sides all touch each other. Getting a nice glob and just kind of melting it all, all onto that core. Mm, la 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 la. Oh gosh, today's Valentine's Day, huh? I totally forgot. My poor hubby. We're so romantic here. We forget Valentine's Days. I saw on Pinterest that so I'm supposed to be making lobster. It was like, uh, I don't think so. 
Okay, so there is the first layer. And again, I'm going to marver it smooth. Mm, getting all the wrinkles out. Smooth enough. Smooth enough for me. And as you smooth it out, um, it gets longer. I think it's just physics. The nature of the universe. All right, I'm going to put a second coil around this of this blue because I really want the edges to stand out. So, another coil of leaky pen. Ooh, the new colors are going to be with us in a few months, I think. A few months, maybe. April? Yeah, that's going to be fun. It's always fun to have Christmas in April when the new Creation is Messy colors come out. I can't wait. I'll have to come up with some really good ideas. I can't seem to come up with ideas unless I actually see the glass. And then I go, oh, I could do this. I could do this. I could do this. Okay, there is layer number two of the leaky pen. And so, marver it out again. These little round rollers are awesome for marvering this stuff. It's got like the perfect concave shape. I use this a lot for marvering stuff like Murini and, and Cane. Okay, now, the piece de resistance is a layer of clear. And what this clear does is it kind of keeps the glass like separated from itself. So when you lay it down, the colors aren't going to blend all together. Because I don't want it to look like a light blue that's just encased in leaky pen. I want it to be defined, separated stripes of filigrana. And if the colors run together when they're sitting next to each other, it doesn't look like stripes. It looks like light blue stripes encased in leaky pen. Okay, that looks good. Let me get around here a bit. All right, let me marver one more time. Marver, 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 marver. All right, now I'm going to put my little cap, my little hat cap with the poof on it so that we can pull this puppy. All right, around the outside edges so that everything is touching. And then we're going to just coil that light blue towards the center. And I put a little cap on it, just a little, I don't want to call it a point because it's not really a point. It's just a little hat. All right, let me get another, another mandrel that I should have had ready, and I did it. All right, we're gonna heat up this other one eighth inch mandrel. Just a little bit. You don't need a lot. Let me move my sippy cup because I'm gonna crash into it when I pull. All right. And now we're heating up the poof and the mandrel goes in it just like so. There we go. Flip it around, flip it around. Okay, let's heat it up. And I'm going slow because that's a big wad of glass. And I want that heat to soak into it so it gets melty. Melty, melty, melty. Okay, I'm starting to feel it get a little bit stretchy. All right, I like it. I like it right there. All right, now I'm gonna pull it out and I'm gonna really let this set up because again, we're going for a very fat cane, not a little skinny cane. So I don't want it. 
I don't want to pull it too fast. Like right about there is where I like it. <laughs> so you're not going to get much and it's still going to stretch a little bit more. But I'm just going slow. Okay, that looks good to me. I like that. Okay, now what I do is I do burn off one end. And because we're using so much transparent glass in this, oops, in this cane, the transparent glass, as you all know, is pretty stiff and it tends to fracture unless you put it in the kiln and let it anneal. So this one is going in the kiln and I'll be right back. Here's our final bead, you guys. Um, I think it looks so cool. I mean, it just looks like it's like it's a, a nice blue with an outline of that dark leaky pen. And then just putting that clear. Um, I've got a nice separation of the little colors there. Now, on a side note, I tried to rush the cooling process. And I put this on a towel before it was ready. Don't do that, okay? Because <laughs> it'll burn. the towel will burn onto your bead and your studio will smell bad. <laughs> oh my God, it must be Monday. Anyways, guys, have a great day. Make beautiful beads, not ugly ones. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.